Here is Delta Romeo Zero Golf calling Oscar Romeo for India Sierra Sierra. Do you copy? Over. Here is Delta Romeo Zero Golf calling again Oscar Romeo for India Sierra Sierra. Do you copy? Over. Delta Romeo Zero Golf, Oscar Romeo 4 ISS, your signal is a bit weak, in about 20 seconds we can try again. Over. Okay, your signal now is 5x8, uh, 5x8, five five over. Very good morning to you, Mike. Very good morning, your signal is 5x9 and here is our first question. To what extent do we on Earth profit from your experiment on the ISS? Over. Yeah, good morning and glad to talk to you all. Mike is here and Yuri is nearby and Sandy is also aboard station. And what we do aboard the International Space Station, a lot of things are, are helpful for, to life uh, below uh, planet Earth. The way that we make our uh, solar energy here, how we recycle our water, all these things will be useful to uh, life on planet Earth. Over. What are the aims of your present mission? Over. Yeah, our present mission right now, we have three people aboard the International Space Station. When we're done with Expedition 18, we hope the space station will be certified for six people. With six people up here, uh, we will be able to uh, get a lot more science done and do our research properly. Over. How much energy do you need daily and what kind of energy is it? Over. We have huge solar arrays outside and the solar and the space station runs purely on solar power. So that means we run about 50 kilowatts and uh, our next shuttle mission we will get even more solar power. Over. That's a good question. Uh, so far aboard the ISS since we are close to the Earth, we are protected by the Earth's magnetism. So we don't get so much radiation. But we're studying the effects of radiation on the body so that when we go to the moon or Mars, we understand it and can protect over. Have you had any problems with oncoming meteorites or space debris? Over. Yeah, the problem with us, oncoming meteorites and space debris, we have a, a new plan. The pieces that are coming to us, we can see them from the ground. We have the, the radars on the ground can protect us. So if we see something big coming, we move out of the way. The little things, we have armor on our space station and that protects us. Over. Which qualifications do you need to be on such a mission? Over. Yes, uh, on this mission we have a professional astronaut from different countries. Yuri is from Russia, me and Sandy are from the uh, United States. Soon there will be uh, Koichi, he's from Japan. Uh, we all are professional astronauts, meaning we've gone through our training. We uh, have, are, are in excellent health and uh, we trained a long time for these missions. Uh, myself, I trained four years to be up here. Over. What were your feelings and emotions during lift off? Over. Uh, lift off is a very special time, especially the very first lift off. You know, I wasn't nervous. I was very excited because it was my dream coming true. I was able to finally go into space and it was so exciting. Over. Do you lose the sense of time on the ISS? Over. Uh, even though uh, when we go around the planet 16 times a day, we see 16 sunrises, 16 sunsets, uh, we don't use that to, to, uh, to keep our time. We have computers everywhere and our schedule is on the computer and we're always looking at the, we're always looking at the time so that we can make sure we stay on our schedule. Very, uh, very busy. Over. How do you spend your free time on the ISS? Very many personal belongings. We can bring up just a few small things, but uh, all the important things like uh, our music and our, our pictures, our family, I myself have over 40 electronic books on the computer. Over. Have you got any room for your personal belongings? Over. Yeah, we don't have very much room for our personal belongings, and uh, we're also very busy sometimes. So we don't spend uh, too much uh, time. We like to look out the window. Over. What happens if you are ill? Over. Yes. Uh, we first we have to be very healthy to even get up here. Uh, so most of us will not get ill. But if we do get ill, we have uh, medicine aboard the space station. Uh, we also have access to doctors, and they can 
uh, we can call them and they can tell us what to do. And on the very worst case, we can come back home on our rescue lifeboat, which is the Russian Soyuz, over. What happens to the human body if you stay in space too long? Yes, that's a very good question. We do not know the answer because we haven't stayed in space for too long. But we can see the general trends, that we lose our muscles, we lose our bone mass. So every day we exercise for two hours. In fact, now we even have a new exercise machine, and we think that will help us be able to stay in space for a long time. Over. How often do you see the sunrise on the ISS per day? Over. Yeah, we go around the Earth at 26,000 kilometers per hour. That is super fast. That is faster than the fastest uh, Formula One car or faster than the fastest train. So we go around uh, the Earth 16 times each 24-hour uh, period. We see 16 sunrises, 16 sunsets. Over. What happens in case of emergency, for example, if the ice is on fire? Over. Yeah, we uh, spend a lot of time training for just such emergencies. Uh, for example, on, for fires, we have fire extinguishers. Our other things that we worry about, if we got a hole inside the space station and our atmosphere was leaking out, or if uh, we get some kind of toxic uh, gas from an experiment or from a uh, or from our, our cooling system, which has a lot of ammonia in it. So we practice these experiments that we Yeah, you know, the, it's difficult for mankind to uh, to do things together sometimes. Uh, we, uh, we uh, right now, we haven't even really left our planet. We three of us up here, and then it's millions of uh, you down there. So we want to go to the moon, and then uh, the moon goes on, and then the day we work on our system. And then the pilot came in and asked the space station, and the money is a very important part of the world. Thank you very much. This is again Delta Romeo Zero Golf. Mike, we know you can hear us much better than we do. And uh, many thanks for your time and making this contact possible. I give the microphone to this teacher who makes this thing possible for our school. Many, many thanks, Mike. Thank you very much for answering to these questions. Please hear the applause.